What's up guys, Trishana's Troops here. I'm back with another video. This video, I just got inspiration from you guys on my Instagram. <laughs> so someone told me I should do a story time video and I'm all here for it. Um, so this is a story time video on how my ice cream shop came about. But before we get into it, make sure you do it. Make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you tell your friends and tell day friends so we can be friends and let's start the video now. Okay, so story time. I got a six figure I six figure business, okay you guys. We hit six figures in 60 days and we're currently worth half a million dollars. Um but before all that happened, it had to come about. So how did this ice cream shop come about? For one, ouch. For one, I never liked ice cream, okay? I was not an ice cream eater. When my mom used to take us out to get ice cream, like to celebrate good deeds, I was the chunky kid. Like I wanted food like so my brother would eat ice cream two ice cream cones and i would get like um when they serve a dq i would get like a chili dog because i didn't like ice cream so how did this come about so one day i was at home and i used to travel a lot for a different business that i had and i got i was going to the bt awards um not the actual awards but like the functions around the awards in 2017 and I was like seeing people doing all this stuff. So I have a rolled ice cream shop and I was seeing people doing all this stuff. And I'm like, y'all, what is this chopping stuff that y'all doing? Then y'all scraping it and rolling the ice cream. I'm like, what is going on? I want to try that. So I told my manager like, yo, reach out to some rolled ice cream shops when I go to LA because I really want to try some rolled ice cream. I didn't know what that was and I was so intrigued. Like it was like an epidemic. Um, <laughs> It was an epidemic online so she reached out to a company um uh, thank you to them because they got me started holy roly ice cream shop in california i went in there the owner just let me pay me to paid me to um pay sorry i got my windows all types open and it's just a distraction but paid me to basically um advertise their ice cream and i just got to skip the line I think it was only like 30 bucks or something like that at the time anyway so um i posted on my instagram Ding! and i um so i went in there really basic you guys i got like the most basic thing probably like cookies and cream i think it was like a graham cracker in there maybe a s'mores it was really basic because like i said i didn't like ice cream but i just really wanted to try it so i watched them pour this stuff chop it up roll it up and i was like mm! the texture of it was so different it was different than regular ice cream you guys it was like a uh, so sorry the texture of it was different it was like a thin crystals or something I don't know but the texture of rolled ice cream is different than regular ice cream comment below if you tried rolled ice cream so anyway so when I had tried that I was like it was pretty like I was becoming a believer in ice cream so I had like my team with me they tried it and they were like oh wow it is pretty good so um, I posted on Instagram and this girl, I went to school with her from like eighth grade all the way through like high school. We went to the same school. We were never super close, but we were just kind of cool, you know? And she comments, I posted on my Instagram and my Snapchat and she messaged me and was like, where is this at? I'm like, girl, I'm in California. She was like, oh darn, I'm pregnant. Like that looks so fire. I want to try it. I'm like, girl, I wish. Ha ha, I'm in California. So then two weeks later, I take my family, we go on a family trip every year with my mom and my little brother and my cousin, and I took, we went to Texas and I took them to a rolled ice cream shop in Texas and I was just like, you guys gotta try this new, this new thing, rolled ice cream, it's like fire, like I never even liked ice cream but it's so good. And so we went to another place called Chill 360 or something like that in Texas. My mom's like, I'm not about to do this. The line is too long. Uh -uh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm like, mom, I'm telling you, you got to do it, please. So we stood in this long line for like an hour. But by the time they got up to us, we were like, my mom's like, oh, wow, this is impressive. So, you know, everybody had their phones out because it was new. So everybody was out recording like, oh, let me take a picture. Like it was such a good experience, you know. So then we tried the ice cream and I was like, okay this is super good like i'm am i liking ice cream or just liking rolled ice cream i didn't know what it was so then i posted this on my snapchat again i didn't get paid for this one so it wasn't going on the gram but i posted on my snapchat and um 
the same girl messaged me she was like darn it where are you at now i'm like i'm in texas she was like are you sure we don't have one in nebraska i'm like girl we don't have one in nebraska and she was like man this looks so good i really want to try it and we laughed it off we were like girl i wish and we was just like we should just open one she was like haha i wish the very next day we like messaged each other back and was like well wait i'm serious if you serious and then she was like no for real i'm serious so i'm like okay well we just like well let's just do it so that whole night i remember we were supposed to go out that night in texas and i couldn't get my mind off of anything but trying to open an ice cream shop and i sat there with my little brother he's super super smart you guys i'm just like bro should i really open a rolled ice cream shop and he was just like mm, i don't see why not and he's just like really like smart he's like i don't see why not he's like what do you got to lose and i'm like what do i have to lose i didn't have anything to lose you guys nothing so i just kept going back and forth like i should really do it i started like asking my mom she was like yep you should do it and i remember the owner of the one i tried in la they hit like a mill you guys and they weren't even open that long but of course it's la this is nebraska but i was just like that's still crazy to even think about so long story short the minute i get back into town um she and i were messaging back and forth and we sat down we went to meetings we started looking at locations we started looking at interior design we started doing all these things you guys and we had no money but we was out here working we was negotiating deals looking for locations we were um we were you guys we was putting in legwork we was calling road ice cream shops to see how much they make how many customers they serve per shift um What's their prices? How do they make their ice cream? Then we went to Kansas City because she still had never tried it. And we went to Kansas City to another place. It was called like 30 Below or something. I forgot what it was called. It was called Degree Celsius. I don't know. But we went to some place in Kansas City and we started telling them like, we're about to open up an ice cream shop. You know, can we please try to make it? And the, one of the owners was so nice. He let us come behind the counter. And we got back there. We was messing up. We was flicking the ice cream all over the place and messing up. But it was just the experience. And we were like, we are really about to do this. Um, so then these companies we started looking for like loan companies and stuff and i found like a small loan like i always tell you guys in my videos look for a um a, a micro loan so i found a micro loan company and i reached out to this lady who's a representative for it, and i was like we're looking for a loan for an ice cream shop and all this stuff and she was just like okay i'll get back to you three three weeks went by they were playing this company was planning a big event and i got an email for their big event and my business partner at the time she was pregnant so she could make the event she was sick i sat at that event for eight hours okay eight long 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 hours and at the end like the ceo or like the owner whatever he is the the president or the owner what i forgot he comes up at the end and he was like telling everybody thank you he was thanking his team for putting it together and as soon as he got done with his little speech i marched on up to him and i was like excuse me i need to talk to you and he was like i'm talking to someone right now I said, well, I need to get a loan and I need to talk to you. He was like, okay, go talk to someone. So I said, no, 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 no. I've been waiting three weeks. And at this point, I need to talk to you. So he paused his conversation. He said, well, let me give you my card. And I said, I've been waiting too long to meet with you guys. I said, I sat here all day. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. He said, well, can you meet this Friday? I called my business partner. I'm like, girl, we meet on Friday. We need to pitch this to him on Friday. Luckily, like I said, we hit the ground running. We had already had our business plan from doing all this calling around and talking to people we had already started configuring our numbers from calling around and talking to people and so when we went in there that friday we were on point we pitched ourselves to them like we knew this is what we wanted to do mind you the location was not the same location we thought we wanted the prices didn't even like they gave us a loan and we needed more money but that's a whole different story you march in there and you talk to them like you know what you're doing and they loved what we said so then two weeks later kind of went by he was like yeah i'm gonna pitch it to see if we can get you guys the loan so two weeks went by we didn't hear anything i tried to text him back he didn't answer the next day i was at my little brother's basketball game and he calls me and was like hey it's so and so um i think we're gonna go ahead and pitch your idea tomorrow uh for the board um send me all this information i needed by six o'clock tonight i called my business partner so quick we had about three hours to get them everything i left that basketball game we got to digging we found all the documents we needed we sent them over that stuff and probably 28 hours later we get another phone call and they was like we got you the loan i was so geeked you guys i was like you guys got the loan 
like I was trying to call my business partner. I was like, ah, ah, ah. and I, whew, I'm out of breath. I called her. I was like, girl, we got the low. We was like, it was almost like, <laughs> it was so crazy because it's like, wow, we actually got the loan. But it was like, wow, we actually got to follow through with this now. Like, we actually got to open an ice cream shop. So that was the tricky part. Um, who am I to ref? We did so much negotiating, you guys. Um, finding locations. Someone else beat us to another location we wanted because it was just out of our price range. Um, so many things happened along the way. But more of the story is we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know anything about ice cream. I didn't even personally like ice cream. She didn't even try I the road ice cream we was about to open until close to time to open. We didn't even have a recipe. We didn't know what our ice cream was going to taste like until six days before open. So anything that could have went wrong went wrong. There were so many details along the journey. But I'm going to wrap this video up because it's already so long, I feel like. But if you guys want a part two to this video, like in details, definitely let me know. I'll be happy to film it. But, um, yeah, it was... It was a journey, but long story short, we opened our ice cream shop with little to no money in the bank. And the minute our doors opened, we made five figures that week. And we hit six figures. Is y'all done? Okay. We made five figures that week and we hit six figures in 60 days so it has definitely been a blessing you guys this journey has been amazing like i said this wasn't my first business i already had a business but this is my first brick and mortar and it is very profitable so i just made this video to basically let you guys know that anything is possible um like i said i was in la for the bet stuff not thinking i was going to come back with the whole ice cream shop so just always like you never know what's supposed to happen to you or for you but what god has for you is for you so take that trip with little to no money because when i was traveling i didn't have any money at the time you guys take that trip take the risk you never know why you're called to be somewhere like i said i thought i was just going for the bt experience stuff came back with a whole ice cream shop idea so take the risk take the chance talk that talk whether you have the money or not have confidence in what you're going to do and the money will find you i promise you if you want me to do a detailed video or a part two let me know um you guys i did just launch my website trishana.co women don't compete because we don't i can't and i'm not women don't compete. <laughs> why do i talk like this women don't compete i can't i'm not but check out trishana.co i'm also offering business coaching so if you guys have any questions whatsoever how to start where to start what to do what not to do business plan ideas help with finding your numbers help with so many different things you guys let me know i like to think i know a lot from my successes and my fails um so message me trishana or trishana.co or message me on instagram let's get something together um and you can talk to me i will help you from start to finish i promise and then get your shirts women don't compete shirts and thank you so much for watching you guys i will see you in my next video make sure you guys check out mixins ice cream as well um on instagram and i will see you in my next video